Ethan made Cindy sit on the bed. How about this, said Ethan. I'll try to pull out two white marbles that would have a low probability. Odd shrugged. What probability, asked Cindy. Why are you doing that? I'm trying to figure out my chance. That's what probability means. He arranged the marbles in groups of two. I'm putting together every combination of two colors to figure out how likely two white marbles would be. See, there are 16 combinations, he declared. So the odds are one in 16. Tough odds, purred the cat. Let's play. Ethan pushed the marbles into a big pile. He picked up one without looking. It was white. Halfway there, he replied. The marble and, and picked up, he replaced the marble and picked up another one. It was yellow. Ta-da, sang odds. You lose. Let me see, demanded Cindy. Ethan sighed and showed her the mismatched marbles. Cindy reached in and took out two white marbles. I win, she shouted. You cheated, Ethan said. It's not a probability game if you look. Ethan, Cindy, breakfast, mom called. Bye, Kitty, said Cindy. She gave Odds a kiss and ran out of the room. Please, Odds, I have to go to my soccer. Ethan stopped. Hey, wait, maybe soccer can be a probability game. If we score five goals but make 25 attempts, then we have a uh, mm, one in five chance. And, and ass Odds? Ethan sighed. I don't know. I'll think about it during breakfast. I hope no one's in the kitchen, he said, putting on his cowboy hat to hide odds. Cindy had already finished her breakfast. The kitchen was empty. It's Odie Woofs, said Ethan, scooping up a handful of dog-shaped cereal. Try them. They're delicious. Odds hissed. Don't much care for dogs, he growled. They're always trying to beat the odds. But look, exclaimed Ethan, there are five shapes, poodles, beagles, collies, St. Bernards, and pugs. That could be a probability game. Show me, said Odds. It's like the marble game, but now we have five different shapes. Ethan pushed them into pairs. There are 25 possible pairs. Which one would you like me to try for? Two pugs, said Odds. They have the smallest teeth. Okay, said Ethan. He closed his eyes and mixed up the pieces. I have a 1 in 25 chance. He picked up a piece of cereal, a pug. He replaced a piece and picked up another. This is it, he said slowly, opening his hand. It was another pug. Ta-da! I won, Ethan shouted, holding up the winning pair. I did something with a low probability. This is great. He began jumping up and down, but suddenly stopped. I don't want to be a poor sport, but you did say you'd get off my head if I won. Odds landed with a wump on the table. Nice going, kid. Sure you don't want to keep playing? It might take you a better it might make you a better soccer player. Ethan paused. You know, it just might. Oh really? Odds purred. Do tell. In the last game I shot on goal twenty times and scored five of those times, Ethan exclaimed. Explained. My chance of getting a goal is five and twenty, or one in four. I should be able to make one goal every four tries. Good odds, admitted odds. But look at this, Ethan said. He made a drawing to show how he made the shots. I tried to score with a, with a low shot 15 times. Only three of those went in. So I have a 3 in 15 chance of scoring with a low shot. That's the same as a 1 in 5 chance. I tried five times to score with a high shot. Since two of those scored, I have a 2 in 5 chance of getting a goal with a high shot. A 2 in 5 chance is better than a 1 in 5 chance. Which means, Ethan concluded, that I have great odds if I aim high. Not bad, kids, said Odds. Ethan, Ethan's mother called from the garage. Ethan, it's time to go. You don't want to, have to, want to be late for the big match. Odds jumped down from the table and walked toward the door. It's time for me to hit the road, kid. With probability on your side, you're going to win that game, right? Ethan smiled as he opened the door. Probably. The history of mathematical probability. Two famous French mathematicians, Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat, developed the theory of mathematical probability in 1654 following a dispute 